here, I'd like to introduce one of the rock solid sets of data access components called the PGDAC or PostgreSQL data access components. PGDAC is a library of components that delivers a native connectivity to PostgreSQL from C++ Builder and Delphi, including Community Edition, as well as Lazarus, which is really cool. I really love these components because PGDAC is designed to help programmers to develop swift and clean PostgreSQL database-powered applications without worrying about deploying any additional libraries. Like you don't even need libpq.dll for connection, it's simply amazing. Furthermore, it provides a direct access to PostgreSQL without the PostgreSQL client and presents itself as an efficient alternative solution to standard connectivity solutions like Borland Database Engine or DB Express drivers. Additionally, Additionally, a PGDAC provides a further opportunity to work with PostgreSQL directly via TCP and IP without involving the client. PGDAC is not just about connecting to PostgreSQL database, it covers a wide range of PostgreSQL features like SSL connection, working with large objects, composite or geometric types, intervals, and notices, and also complete support for fast record insertion, async notification, PostgreSQL sequences, and more. We, Delphi and C++ Builder developers, love components and libraries that support cross-platform options. So all major GUI frameworks are supported by PGDAC so that you can develop VCL applications for Windows or cross-platform FMX solutions and also LCL applications. That's, that's really cool. Okay, uh, let's see a real-world demo app now. First, you can go to this uh, page here and download and then install PGDAC Professional Edition for evaluation purposes with some limitations, as you can see. So I have my Red Studio 11 Alexandria, so I can go with that. After installing, you'll see something like this in your ID, like a uh, PGDAC menu here. And if you click about PGDAC, you can see the information about it. So um, I will create a new multi-device application with Delphi. Select the uh, type of the application. I'm going to go with the blank one. So there we go. You can see in the palette, we have the PG DAC. This PG connection, query, table, um, data source, update SQL, and stored prod components are the base components for the PostgreSQL connection and fetching processes. Uh, and we have uh, several other valuable components that make you productive, like a PG script um, and uh, PG metadata for obtaining metadata about the database objects or other um, components, as you can see here. So let's uh, drop the PG connection and we will connect to a PostgreSQL uh, database server, my local server. So you can double click the PG connection component and this is a dialog so we can configure the connection uh, information here. This is my uh, PG admin and I have my my db database and inside in it i have demo table table and some with information inside so we just need to connect to this localhost uh, server that i have so i'm gonna put localhost here username is postgres give the password and select the database here i'm gonna go with my db there we go click to connect all right, click OK. Now we have connected to our database. So when we run the application, it just connects because we have already selected the connected property. And uh, we need to write one line of code. So on close. So this means that when we close the application, this uh, kills the connection between the database server. That's it. Now, I'm going to put PG query. There we go. And in the properties, this is already the selected to PG connection. And in the SQL property here, we're going to type a little bit of SQL code. Click OK. And activate. All right. So now we have data source component here. We just need to show the data to the user with our uh, UI controls. 
So open the bind visually. And as you can see, we have already the fields available. Click the live bindings wizard. Go with this data source. Next, string rate. Next, as a existing source, we're gonna go with PG query. All right. And also add data source navigator if you need. There we go. Close it. Now we just need to make some changes. Client mode. This navigator should be inside the form, not inside the string grid component. And this will be changed to top. And there we go. Click save, click run. As you can see, we have connected to our database. And also we can add new data. For instance, not before, I'm gonna put some data here. Click save and close. And if you open the PG admin here, just select the data and run. As you can see, we have the updated information available inside our demo table. If you'd like to learn more about this data access component, be sure to check out the official webpage where you can find all the interesting information along with the extensive documentation. Thank you for watching.